This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to Starbound Warp Core. All right, so I lowered the tier of the planet that you start with. So it was tier three and now I've lowered it down to tier two. It's still rather difficult, but I do not want to lower it any lower than tier two. So what we're going to do is we're going to try something. We do have Pandora's box and that does give us the ability to capture monsters right from the get-go and use them to you know aid us in our quest to take over this planet uh, and we also have the uh, RPG mod installed to allow us to do things like uh, increase our health and our damage and stuff like that and if worse comes to worse and I don't want people to have to rely on the Pandora's box and pets if they do not want to so I'm going to find a way to balance it I will probably give a starting weapon or two melee option and a, and a ranged option and possible uh, starting set of armor just to kind of balance the playing field a little bit. I want it to be difficult, but not nearly as difficult as it currently is. Okay, so to test out all this theory, I'm pretending we're starting fresh-ish. Uh, I got rid of the gun because, well, I, I mean, I still have it, but we're not going to use it because it's technically high than what we will find down here now so that gave us an advantage so now that this is tier 2 down here you're only gonna find tier 2 weapons so let's beam down let's try this theory I have an idea I think it'll work I think if we capture the uh, pets and use them they can really help us in the long run so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna harvest up some uh, some dirt here because we're gonna use it to capture something and then that way it can attack us and then we can easily wear it down and hit it with a capture pod Lisa that is the that's the theory here we'll see how well that works I do have our little robot guy he's hanging out with us and let's see what do we get here do we want that little guy to start with he kind of floats he looks like he might be able to keep up with us is he threatening you don't seem to be threat. Oh, I missed him. Didn't, didn't, wasn't fast enough. Wasn't fast enough. Hold on. Let's get our dirt back. He doesn't seem threatening. Maybe, maybe we don't even want to mess with him. Maybe, yeah, he's not a threatening little guy. Okay, never mind. Honestly, what we need is a flyer or like that guy there because he has those, the ranged abilities. He would, one of those would work really well. Let's collect this stuff here. Because we're going to need that. Nah, I don't really like the crabs, so we're not going to mess with the crabs. Crabs are okay, but I'd rather have something that can straight up shoot an ability. All of the generated monsters. Why is there a light down there? Let's go see what that light is. I know, we're, we're having some ADD issues, but there was a light down there, and I want to know what it is. I also made some changes to some of the treasure that can spawn in the chests here. Oh, it's one of those. There's a specific item that I uh, forgot to make sure that uh, it spawns, and I'm not. It's a slight surprise. I'm not going to ruin it just yet. But that's all I've changed as far as the the modding goes for the warp core mod. And let's keep on going. Man, there's a lot of. Nope. I knew we were going to get hit. Well, we got hit again. Where's my salve? I need my healing salve. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. We might... Oh, no. Oh, no. We're so done. <laughs> we ran into a large group of monsters, but we found what we were looking for. Those little pop tops might work because they do have a ranged ability. Okay, I've made it back. We're going to attempt to... Oh, no. We're right down here. We're right back in it. <laughs> I was going to say, we attempt to get our stuff, but uh, it's slightly dangerous there. All right, where's our dirt? Let's just, uh, let's do this and get across there this way. And then what we will do, we're going to build a wall. Yep, that's right. You heard me. We're building a wall. And now we're going to, I want my last couple of things that are down there. Okay, now that I got those, we'll go ahead and harvest up the top of the wall here. Those little guys, I'm, I feel like I might want to capture one of those little guys. Honestly, though, another flyer would be perfect or one of those large generated monsters. Okay, so we're going to hold on to that little guy. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure these little guys have abilities 
as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're just going to harvest this tree since he's just going to stand there all chill like. Yeah, just stand there, little buddy. Get this tree out of the way so I can attempt to trap you. Mm-hmm. There we go. And can I dig under you? Can we just knock you down? Can we just put you in the ground that way? There we go. Yeah, just don't. Nope. You just stay right there. We're just going to trap you a little bit. There. It's going to be easier getting this guy, too, since he's a friendly to start with. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure he has abilities. So we'll we'll find out here in a second. So what we'll do is we'll just dig down and create like a little wall. And then we need to make sure it's easy for us to get out of here. Just in case he goes like completely crazy. And now let's dig that out. Let's dig out one more. Make sure we can hit him. There we go. We hit him. Now do you have abilities? I'm pretty sure he does. Gonna use your abilities? No, oh, he's all kinds of stuck and broke. Okay, well, let's just, uh, let's see. We got a couple more capture pods, so if he's crappy, then you know what? It'll be fine. Maybe he doesn't have abilities. I thought they did, but he's, he's random generated, and, uh, he may not have generated with any type of attack. Yeah, you're just gonna die then. You were a disappointment. Okay, you're dead. Now, this little guy definitely does stuff. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. I think I think she can slip or it can slip through a too high. You spit like your other one did? Or are you not a spitter? Are you not a spitter? I don't know what you do. Can you do some stuff? Let's get rid of that and that. Let's see. Are you going to attack? Hmm. I wonder if they don't do it if they're trapped. That one doesn't seem to want to do much of anything. Let's check out this chest, then we're going to continue to explore. See if we can find a better option here. Alright, I think I found a guy. He fires that little little ball of acid. Did you see that? Alright, let's try this little guy. Let's see how he does. Yeah, look at that little ball of acid. Oh, and he does- holy crap! Wow, little guy! Okay, so, I mean, he probably won't be trapped when we get back, but we found one that's that works. Okay, so we're back down on the planet, and I totally forgot I wanted to show you all the mysterious books. So this is the mysterious book. You open it. This is the RPG mod, and uh, so what we have here is we have the option to select a class. I have not selected one. I just checked all this stuff out. I haven't picked one yet because I wanted to do it on screen with you all, so you could check it out, see how it works. I think what I'm going to go with is the wizard. It's just kind of uh, ranged utility, and I like the idea of ranged utility. There's also the Explorer, which is kind of cool, and I kind of like the idea of the Explorer because you glow when you're underground and stuff like that, and you're slightly more resistant to physical damage, but uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to do the Wizard. Let's just do the Wizard. Great. So we have uh, different skills. Select a skill to read about it and unlock it if possible. So what's this? Uh, the gravity sphere and upgrade to the spike sphere while transform you regen slightly and are effectively uh, affected by low gravity. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, you can create a barrier that pushes enemies away. That's neat. Hover, press space while in the air to hover towards your cursor. Oh, that's really cool. We need to be level eight for that one. You got translocate. Press G uh, to bind or bind G in your controls to teleport to your cursor if possible. <gasps> that's amazing. I'm glad I picked this. And we have the magic shield. All right, that's cool. So we also have the stats and we have some points to spend in our stats, which could help us a lot. Wow, a lot of really good stuff. And we've already leveled up once. So that's... Um, that gave us a little bit of a buff to some of our things. If you look here, we have 105 uh, energy and, or, uh, sorry, 105 health and then 142 energy. Where do I want to put these points? Uh, I only have one point remaining. I kind of feel like I want to do health, but I also feel like agility would be super handy. Just to start with, at least one point in agility. And then later, I like the idea of the, the dexterity with the bleed damage and stuff. Hmm, intelligence is also pretty cool too. Let's do, yeah, let's put one, 
one in agility. Let's do it. So we're at 21 points. And then we have other tabs here, but we're not high enough to unlock any of them yet. Uh, we have this tab, but we don't. We haven't unlocked any of the stuff that we're gonna need for it. Then we have our full info tab. And then we have this. We don't have an affinity yet, so that's, that's that. Okay, so now that we went over all of that stuff, let's hunt down one of these pets here and see if it helps us out. Let's see, do we get... No, I feel like we jump a little higher and we move a little faster. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna hunt down a pet here, see if I can find something, get it tamed up and all that good stuff. All right, so I have a monster here. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wall ourselves in like so, and uh, we're gonna attempt to knock this guy out. Hopefully, hopefully this works. We're walled in with him, nothing can get to us. We just need to be able to attack him without him attacking us. Hit you? Can you hit me? That's the question. Okay, I don't think he can hit me. And we're doing some damage. We just need to slowly wear him down. Slowly wear him down. This is going to be a good one because he's got some pretty good attacks. Oh, he's almost there. We're actually... We're doing fire damage. Is that our sword doing the fire damage? That's weird. I don't know where the fire damage is coming from unless it, Oh, it's because we're a mage. That's right. Our mage ability, we have the option to randomly do uh, status effects, which seems to be helping us, you know, a lot. We're already able to, to damage things a little more. Why can't I hit him now? There we go. Okay, let's attempt to throw a capture pod at him and see... Nope, missed. There we go. All right, we got pet number two. Awesome. Now we can just dig our way out of here and head on up to the ship. And then we can have, because now you can actually have more than one pet out thanks to Pandora's box. And we'll throw both of them out at the same time and we'll see how they do uh, for defending us. There we go. And now what we'll do is just throw both of them at the same time. Yeah. Get him, get him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, they did not last long. <laughs> it's no big deal though. Oh, how is he back, but the other one's not? Get back, get back in your pod. No, you get back in your pod. Did you not die? I thought that one died. I thought they both died. They're still gonna die really quick because we just don't have the health of the armor and stuff to back it up because you affect your pet. So the higher tier stuff you are in, the better your pets will do. The other thing we can do is we could maybe actually, let's see here. What do we need for the inventor's table? We just need logs and we have a ton of wood already. I think, yeah, we do. So let's go ahead. Let's make a bunch of timber. Okay, let's make our inventor's table. And let's see if it's possible, if it's too early for us to get some type of armor. So for the anvil, we're gonna need an iron bar. That kind of sucks. So our primitive furnace, we're gonna need cobblestone mud and a campfire. Yeah, we need our anvil. Okay, so I managed to find a bunch of goodies. Had to, yet again, reset the planet. Uh, I don't know what happened, but for some reason the planet was still set to tier three. I thought it seemed still about as difficult as it was. I thought for sure it should have been easier. Uh, it is now, it's much easier now. It's completely manageable. It's gonna become even more manageable extremely fast. Uh, we're gonna craft up our forge here. I also got another level while I was down there. So let's hit up the old book here and spec another point. Uh, where do we wanna put this? Do we wanna do vitality this time or vigor? Uh, that vigor could really help us a lot. We already have eight in intelligence, uh, so that's good. That's gonna increase our regen rate and all that good stuff. The dexterity for the, I do like my range and I do plan on being range. I don't, I'll probably be, well, I'm a mage, so I'll probably wanna use the stabs and stuff. So yeah, let's not waste it in dexterity. Let's go ahead and put one in vitality. That extra health I feel is really gonna help us a lot. So what did that put us at? Eh, it gave us another 5%, not terrible. That works, okay. 
Uh, it'll also keep us from being hungry as, as often as well, which is great because I hate having to eat all the time. Uh, speaking of, let's go ahead and eat one of these cans of food. Yep, I know, I'm super full now. Okay, so we need to place our furnace. I did find some iron. Another reason I had to reset the planet, for some reason iron was not spawning. I have no idea why. Uh, wow, we got all kinds of different ore on us. Well, well, we do have all that. I was like, I didn't think I picked up that much stuff, but uh, that's awesome. Okay, so we got, we're just gonna go ahead and Craft up all of this, get a bunch of that, and uh, that should should be good. Do we have enough now? Yes, we do. All right, craft me that anvil. Let's get to, to making the good stuff. All right, we're going to have to place this up here. We're running out of room in our ship very quickly. Uh, why is there nothing in the armor slot? That's That's not good. I feel like there should be something there. Anything. Why is there nothing there? Oh my gosh. Okay. Tungsten chain gun. Uh, yes, please. Tungsten axe. Tungsten hammer. I need, uh, yeah, I'm going to make this. I feel like it's going to burn through our energy and we should probably, uh, be using a wand, but I don't see a wand and I can't believe there's no armor here. Like none. That's crazy to me. Do we got to upgrade before we can get any armor at all or is something broken? All right, so this is going to take... Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to make this first. Okay, great. Now, now I don't have enough tungsten. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to go tungsten hunting. That's fine. I wanted this anyway because I feel like this is going to give us uh, a very much the upper hand... Let's check it out. Hopefully it's not terrible. Oh, look at that. That's great. Yeah, let's go play with this. All right, we need an unsuspecting victim here. Unsuspecting victim. Where are you at? I mean, I mean, it's not terrible. That's a heck of a hole to nowhere. All right. I like that. It doesn't use hardly any energy. Like, look at that. Can we dig with it? No, it's too chaotic. Can we... I mean, maybe. Oh, yeah, we can. It actually destroys the blocks. Like, full-on destroys them, too. All right, let's test it on this little guy. Here we go. Oh, that's... I mean, it is a chain gun. Ah, it wasn't terrible. Let's try this guy here. Oh, second ability. OP! I'm gonna fall in this hole. I know I am. Hold on a minute here. Come back here. Oh, yeah. See, now, now the problem is, now, now, here is where, here's where I need your all's help. So, do you think that I should leave it on tier two, which it is right now, or should I put it back to tier three? Because here's the dilemma. It's either going to be extremely difficult to start off with, like very, very di difficult. You're going to die constantly and it's just going to be, it's going to be a real pain in the butt and you're going to get a little discouraged, but then it'll eventually get to the point where it's not that bad. Or we can make it on tier two where it is now and it becomes a situation where everything is just trivial trivialized really quickly. Like, you can see now, like, we're just tearing through everything with our first gun here. Now, and depending on what race you install, or, I mean, if you're using the vanilla race, I mean, it could be triv trivialized. I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying that word today. Trivialized uh, just as easy. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I don't know if I, I feel like it should maybe be on Tier 3, and I start with a custom armor and custom weapon or if I should leave it on tier two and I don't know let me know in the comments what you think do you want a really difficult start or do you want a moderate start and then everything just becomes super easy it's gonna be up to you I mean the rest of the game is not gonna be super easy but your tier one planet or your planet that you start on which is your home world uh and will continue to be your home world um I mean, it'll just be a super easy world to deal with. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter too much since it's your starter world, but um, oh, we need 20. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you all think. We're gonna head back up here and we're gonna save opening this gate for the next episode because we've hit our wrap up time. So if you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I wanna give a big thank you to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.